What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder with this highly requested Series 8 team. We got ourselves an Evelta team for Series 8 to rock out and get some wins on the ranked ladder. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are insane. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel. We've been grinding out these teams, and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying the videos. But first Pokemon on this team, top left corner, we're getting started with Porygon 2 with download ability, the Evo Light, obviously, as his item, and then try attack Eerie Impulse, Recover, and Trick Room. We also got Weakness Policy, Metagross, Steel Psychic Type, Clear Body. This thing rocks out. You guys already know how strong it can be. It's been in the meta for a little bit now. We got Iron Head, Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide and protect nothing new there we're gonna save uh Yvelta for last so we're gonna slide down here talk about Incineroar real quick Incineroar Shukaberry Intimidate normal moves that I really don't even have to go over it to be honest with you guys Regilecki right below him with Transistor the Light Clay we can set up screens with it because we got Light Screen Reflect with the Light Clay which is amazing you guys know I love that Volt Switch and Electro Web to slow down we also got Tapu Fini in the bottom left corner, Moon Blast, Muddy Water, Haze, and Protect. I love how this one's running Haze, so if we have a bunch of stat changes on the field, we can just switch it up and start a brand new slate. We also got the Misty Surge, and this Pokemon is holding our life board for this team. And then in the final spot is our boy, the Heart and Soul. We got Evelta over here with a Dark Aurora, which boosts his Dark-type moves when he's on the field, Assault Vest, Foul Play, Sucker Puncher, first turn priority, Snarl to lower special attack, and his signature move, which is Oblivion Wing. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that ranked double ladder, try to get some wins with this team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against the Tornadas and Kyogre team. I've been seeing these a lot on the meta right now, but we're bringing my boy Yvelta out here. We're trying to get him out here, show him off in these ranked battles. This team's looking really, really strong, but first thing I want to do, to do is actually check these team stats because I'm kind of on like a time crunch right now, so I did not get a chance to actually uh, play this team yet and test it out and all that good stuff, but it's looking pretty strong. I feel like we should be fine on the rank ladder. Okay, we have Trick Room if we want to run it, which I might bring Porygon just in case he wants to do that. At the same time, he might leave that Kyogre, so I kind of want to go screens into here. Could do that and start off with a fake out. I can just have this water ready. I'm, I'm kind of with that. Bringing Yavelta in the back end, and then in the final spot, do we go? He's not that big on physical. He has clear body. See the Metagross. Yeah, let's go Metagross here. Let's go Metagross. I was going to bring Porygon too, just in case, but I think we're fine. I think our Mediocre Speed tier here is going to be able to do, do us some work. But only thing I'm really worried about is that Kyogre, man. Which we kind of cover right now because we have our screens, we have our electric move, and we have Tapu Fini as well, which will cover the Kingdra side if he wants to leave Kingdra and the Kyogre for that speed boost in the rain. We should be thriving here. Let's get after it. This seems looking dope. You've is such a cool Pokemon. Oh, he goes Pikachu and Tornadus. Oh, yo, you crazy, dog. You crazy. Okay. So he goes into that, which is fine. Fine, I cannot swap into Yvelta. I cannot do that. I could protect. And just drop an E web and slow all these Pokemon down. Could be actually really good. I'll just E web up. Which I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna E web. And actually, is that thing Lightning Rod? I think it could be Lightning Rod. So I am just gonna set up a Light Screen and I am going to protect this turn. Yeah, I think it could be Lightning Rod. They're really, really good. Protect them now here. Right, does Pikachu learn Lightning Rod? I believe it does. To an extent. Oh, you double it. You did that. You did me dirty like that. Oh, what a play by him. Okay, right, so he gets that up. Tailwind's buzzing. I'm scared of that Pikachu. 100% scared. Gotta get off this light screen again. Might just swap you. Metagross. Save my Finny for the back end, right? Hmm. He does have Tailwind up. I knew I needed my what's it called. Now, you know what? We're just gonna keep Finny up in here. We're just gonna keep Finny up here. I am gonna drop a Moon Blaster onto the Pikachu slot. Try to do some damage onto it. But he's gonna set up a Rain Dance. Oh, I should have dropped the Muddy Water. He set up a Rain Dance. Oh, you crazy, man. Why you set up a Rain Dance? That's my question. Why you set up a Rain Dance unless you're swapping here? Pikachu's gonna go. Oh, that's why. That's why I set up a Rain Dance. That is why. You eat on one without a sash? You're my best friend. You are my best friend. <laughs> Good work, Tapu Finny. Good work. We're gonna get off a nice little moon blast here. Oh, hit it up on the slight Pikachu and Tapu Finny. Yo, Tapu Finny coming up big. You're gonna go down to life for, but yo, I'll take that any day of the week. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, plan is to get out your belts. You have a soul vest. You do have a snarl. You get out you as well. Where do I really want to go? I kind of want to go your belt though. 
Get your belt out here. We have a light screen set up, which is really, really nice. And Kingdra is coming out. Chill on me, Kingdra. Chill on me. Get him out here. Melt, baby. Yo, look at this thing. It's looking dope. We got the Dark Aurora. Uh, I cannot change up uh, wind or anything. I am going to slow these boys down. I am going to Dynamax and just start air streaming. Put a sheer back and we can start lowering their speed, taking speed for us, and get rolling from there. All right, I'm like this. I'm like this. Dun, 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 dun. Kind of wish we had Incineroar here for the Snarl. Snarl's so good. But again, if we set up screens, it's, it's, doing, it's doing just work. And we have the Soul Best as well. He's going to Dynamax with Kingdra. We're going to Dynamax with Belta. And we about to get after it. But big play by my top of Finny to be able to eat that up. Thank you for the light screen. You know, Reg Lecky is coming up clutch with the screens. That's why I love screens. Helps us out so much. I'm surprised he didn't Dynamax that Pikachu. Go into G-Max Pikachu. Drop a Bolt Crash and roll from there. I am really surprised. That, would've, that, that probably that would have been my play all day. But you belts, get after it. Okay. So I wonder what his play is actually going to be. He, just, he did set up the rain. The rain damage is going to do a little bit more. He might just take out my Regilecki, which I really don't like. But we're going to start boosting speed. So I would love for Regilecki to be able to get off a uh, at least one Electro Web. At least one, you know? Oh, he's going to start hurricaning as well. Guys are coming out here. Go after you belts. We're, we're vested. We are vested. We should be able to eat up decently. Oh, well. yeah. Good work, you belts. Good work. Hurricane's probably coming out here. Try, trying to get the ducks. He'll probably get the ducks. Watch. Does not get the ducks. Nice. E Web comes out here. Another E Web will take out the Tornadus, which is wonderful. So we minus them and we plus us again. The Kings are still fast because Tailwind and Swift Swim right now. The solid turn for us. Let's go. Get after it. Get after it. I think another uh, shot. Yeah. Another E Web into a. Uh, into another airstream will be perfect for us. Will be perfect for us. E web, and then I can always set up a reflect next turn as well. Your boy's liking this. Your boy's liking this. If he has uh, physical attackers. Oh, look at that frame drop. Oh, the frames were just dropping, and now it looks pretty. Now it looks pretty. But yo, I've been thinking about like the next gen Pokemon. Cause just think, and, like actually all the next gen games, like Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, and Pokemon Sword and Shield were all just like first time like starter games like this was just their test oh you don't eat it you stink man this was all just like their test games like the next game are they're, they're going to build on top of it and go crazy it's gonna be amazing goes for another hurricane we eat do not duck me yep no ducks yes airstream comes out well Air airstream should be able to pick up k right get him out of here let's go get him out of here the so beautiful there i like that i like that a lot much like he goes down and do we only have Metagross? We still have another turn in here. Just wonderful. Pikachu's dead. Yeah, okay, so it's a 2v2 and we have one more turn left. Like, I'm, liking, I'm liking the team we have here. <laughs> I'm liking Yabelta and Metagross versus anything, really. So we covered a fairy type if he has a fairy type to take out my Yabelta. It was Kyogre. Alright, Kyogre. Uh, are we, do we have more speed than you? We might have more speed than you. We might just protect you this turn and get off damage onto... Onto Kyogre. Yeah, I'm gonna protect you this turn just so Kyogre doesn't just do his thing and dump on me. I'm just gonna protect him. Have my Yvelta be able to eat up with the light screen and soul best in case he outspeeds us all. Here goes the Tailwind. Yeah, he sees Tailwind again just so he has his chance here. Yvelta might still be able to outspeed it. Let's see. And there goes the Water Spout. This is, this is exactly why. This is exactly why. That would have did some a decent amount of damage to my Metagross. We should be able to eat because we have the soul best and the light screen. And do some more damage up on this. Thing. Okay, cool. And now we should take speed advantage as well, as well over to Kyogre. And maybe over... No, not over the uh, Lando. Because we're plus three on speed now. The speed board working really, really well for us. Uh, I can drop Iron Heads. I can do a decent amount. Whatever I really want. Just have Origin Pulls. Which is still looking kind of scary. So I might... Do I double up into that? Good Rock Slide. Good Iron Head. I don't want to take out that Tornadus, but I feel like a Rock Slide should be able to take it out. I could Snarl, but I think Oblivion Wing is going to be a play. Use HP is restored over half the damage taken. Yeah, we need some HP back, so I'm going to go after this Kyogre. Again, Yvelta should be fastest now. Yep. So I am going to be able to get some HP back, which is gorgeous. And I get to use this move. Such a cool Pokemon. And now all I need is my Rock Slide. Now all I need is my Rock Slide to hit. I might be going for a, an Origin Pulse, which is really scary. There it is. E. Eat up, boy. Eat up. It's in the rain, too. Eat up. Yes, sir. My boys are eating. We got tasty snacks. Area. Hurricane comes out. 
Yvelta should be able to eat this up fine. Yes, sir. Do not give me the ducks. No ducks. Rockside connects. Rockside connects. That might be double KO for the win. Let's go. Let's go. Getting started off strong. You belt the team dominated. We got to show him off pretty, pretty well here with that assault vest, which was clutch. And the light screen being able to eat up shots. Showed off Oblivion Wing and got the Dynamax off. Sitting at 1-0, grab themselves a win in battle number one, but second battle is on our way. And this guy's got a pretty dope looking team. He's got Buzzsaw, Ndidi, Faramosa, Xerneas. So we got a battle for the ages, X versus Y over here. Hopefully we can pick up that victory. And then he's got Salamence and Machamp. I kind of want to little trick him here. I definitely got to bring Metagross to kind of cover up on that uh, that Xerneas. Because Xerneas, you know, it does work all around. He has that Buzzsaw and then Machamp. So I am going to bring Incineroar and I might lead Incineroar. Even if he goes in DD and I can't fake out, that's kind of fine by me. I might lead Yavelta too. Now we're gonna lead Meta. Do I lead Yavelta? I mean, if he leads in DD and Xerneas, now we're gonna lead Metagross, and I'm gonna bring Yavelta in the back. And then in the final spot, I think I bring Tapu Fini, and we roll out from there. Looking pretty good. This fairy covers a decent amount here. I like it. I like it. I like where we're sitting here. Because if he leads the uh, Ndidi and I can't pick out, I can still Snarl, which is pretty good. Or I can just party shot out. And I want to lead the Yvelta, but then if he leads the Xerneas, we have the Metagross covering that slot, which is pretty, pretty nice. He's probably definitely going to lead the Ndidi, but if he leads Ndidi, chances are Xerneas might roll through with it. Which is kind of scary, but still, we're going to bring the Metagross just for that threat. Let's see what he goes. He goes Salamence, okay. He goes Salamence and Ndidi. We could have went Yvelta. could have went Yvelta, but I'm totally fine with this. We get off a nice little Intimidate on that. Physical attacking Salamence. Usually it's physical. Is this thing going to be intimidating as well? We are clear body, which I really, really like. Uh, let's see what he does. I might just parting shot over onto that Salamence and be out. That might be the play. Intimidate's coming out here. Yes, sir. He might intimidate as well, which would be totally fine. He's not, so he's Moxie. So he is Moxie. I cannot fake out, so again, I'm just going to parting shot here. I think I just rock slide. Or not rock slide, iron head over onto him. We're gonna double up into him. Maybe he dine maxes. Maybe he doesn't. But usually these boys are physical attacking, so. Intimidate is gonna be huge. Follow me, he's gonna come out here. That's totally fine. We'll be able to get off a party shot this way. And then roll from there. I wonder what he is doing. He's gonna Dragon Dance set up. Alright. Okay, I see you, buddy. I see you. Iron head coming out. Yeet. Doing some damage. So cool, another Iron Head will be able to take that out. As much as I want. I need to get out my top of Finny here. The Dragon moves will not do as much damage. Let's get the top of Finny out here. Tapu! Let's get it. Alright, so he's, uh, what is he? Plus one on speed. And he's equal on attack. Okay. So I can swap if I really want to. Let's see Surge is popping, which is, nope, oh, looking really good for us. Some of your belts. And I should just be able to go into a Moon Blaster on you. And an Iron Head. I don't want him being policy. He's got to be Orb, right? There's no way he's policy if he's rocking Dragon Dance. He's got to be Orb. But I don't just want to drop a Rock. So he's probably going to Dynamax here. Or he might he might try to set up another Dragon Dance. Which I'd be totally fine with. Actually, I don't know. No, he's going to Dynamax here. But depending on his situation, I might swap into Incineroar next turn and just get off another Intimidate. He's only plus one in speed. He's only plus one in speed. That's really all he did. He kind of neglected to intimidate. It's really fine. He's moxie, so if he gets a KO, he's going to start buzzing. But I really got to watch out for this thing. Another follow me is definitely going to come out here and eat up my moon boss. I really don't like. I should have protected this turn. <gasps> he doesn't. Okay. That's cool. I like that. And he's going to go for a quake over onto... Who? Onto Metagross. That's fine. We get off a nice moon boss here. We get off a moon blast. He's gonna go special defense boost, which is scary. And an attack boost. So this thing is setting up pretty well here. Probably should have Dynamax. I might Dynamax next turn. He's moxing up. But I am gonna go into a uh, what's it called? I might have to Dynamax uh Finny. I think I'm gonna Dynamax Finny. I'm gonna go into Incineroar. And terrain swapped. So the play might be to just fake out the uh, NDD. Dynamax Finny and get off a Starfall for the KO. I think that's play. I think we gotta do it. Or I can haze. But no, we're gonna go here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. 
That's my play. That's my play. We're down to Max Infinity this turn. Saving you both for that back end. We get an after. Because if I can get rid of this Salamence right here, that's a big turn for us. That's a big turn for us. The thing is, I don't think he's going to go for my... What's going on? I don't think he's going to go for my Finny. I really don't see him going for my Finny. And if he does, I see the top of Finny eating up and being able to pick up the KO with the Starfall. And it, it, the right call would be to protect this turn. We'll see what he does. He's not going to go. He's going to help in hand. You stink, man. You stink. Hey, how helping hand comes out before that. We get off that fake out. Thomas is going to Quake. We got the Shuka Berry. We do got the Shuka Berry, so hopefully this uh this really helps us out because it's not Stab. I get it. He's no, he's plus zero. He's he's he's, he's even here. Shuka Berry helps us eat. Starfall should be able to come out here, pick up the cat. Actually, mm, I don't know. He's plus two on special defense. Come on, Starfall. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Starfall. Come on, Starfall. Get him out of here. Oh my lord, the plus special defense boost really got him. Really just got him there. Okay, uh, good guard. But he might pick up the KO. Do I geyser set the rain for myself? Hmm. Geyser should totally be able to pick up the KO. Even though it's not very effective, it should still be able to pick up the KO. Which probably is going to follow me. I mean, if I can parting shot, actually, I'd rather just go for a snarl. Double up here. Good happens here. Another Quake coming out here. I'm going to go special defense because he's not going to go for the follow me. We should be able to KO. If this doesn't KO, I'm going to kind of be upset. If this doesn't KO him, I'm going to be upset. I get that he's plus three. I'm going to be really upset. Because it's like 10 damage. <laughs> He's boosted. I need him gone right here. But I'm, but I'm taking the risky, ro risky road here. I'd rather get the rain set up for the team. Have a finny KO. You got life orb damage here too. Yes! <laughs> Thank you! Alright. You're gone. We got the rain set up. We got another turn in Dynamax. Uh, what's called should be able to come out here. Take out NDD. No problem. So Yvelt is going to come out here. We have that so fast. Should be able to take out NDD, no problem. I could Snarl, which I might just do. If he throws out another special attacker, Snarl is totally coming out here. So big play by me to actually bring out Tapu Finny, Dynamax at, get rid of that Salamence. And what is it, a 3v1 now? Or 3v2? Ooh, whoa there. Whoa there, buddy. I don't like that. I do not like that. We all don't like that. We all don't like that. Dark Aurora, who's who's faster? Who was faster, Yvelta or Finny? That's the real question. Yvelta's faster. That is wonderful news. Should be able to go into a geyser onto this slot, and I should be able to snarl, or I can sucker punch. Now we are going to snarl because it goes for follow me. Sucker punch will not hit, and I'd rather lower Exterminus to special attack. And be able to get off the... Oh, he goes first. Terrain Pulse. Holy lord, we're dead. We ate. Thank you, Assault Fest. I love you, Assault Fest. That's when he comes out. Okay, now we're dead. No, my... Oh! A Velta! A Velta! This thing's a tank! He's an absolute tank! Did he really just do that? Did he really just eat up a Terrain Pulse? And a Dazzling Gleam? Not even Dynamax? Bro, a soul fast OP. Oh! Yo, let's go! Let's go! We're cooking! We're cooking! Dude, this Pokemon is insane! And I was thinking when I was looking at this team, I was like, yo, I wish this thing had the life form. No, not at all. A soul fast is boy! He's insane! Pharamos comes out in the final spot. Bro, dude, this thing is insane! It's crazy strong! Hits hard, eats up shots all day. I'm moonblasting this thing. I was gonna money water. Right? He eats up moonblast all day long. He can snarl. He can do damage. He can get HP back here. Ice beam comes out into you. That's totally fine by me. Uh, this thing might be sash, and that that's a little scary. I think it's 100% sash, but dude, this thing eats like no tomorrow. He's beast boosted. Oh, and he's sash. He's gonna get off one extra shot on me. Moonblast comes out. Oh, get him. Always Sash Bramble, always Sash Bramble. 
Nothing. It's never anything else. This thing's bug type, isn't it? We might. We might lose this one. We might lose this one. Gotta go for another moon blast. Come on, eat up. Eat it up. Bug buzz. Eat up. Yo, that's tasty. Let's go. Let's go. Gotta hit this. Gotta hit this, though. GG, baby. 2-0. and oh, We are buzzing with this team. We are buzzing with this team. Develt the OP. Top of Finney definitely came in clutch there, which was amazing. We got rid of that Salamence. We were able to go 2-0. and oh. Now we can hop to our third and final battle. Look for that perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Do I say it? Should I say it? I know you guys are waiting for this one. Looking for that perfect record. For the jeans. Online guy, I'm a community, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Had to do a good one there. Get real close to the mic. Put a lot of zest into it. I know you guys enjoy that. I love that saying. It's so funny. In my opinion, it just cracks me up. I love that you guys like it as well. But we're going up against a Sungola team in the final battle. He also has Amoongus alongside with Incineroar, Draco Zolt, Tapu Lele, and Titar. Okay. Tapu Lele, so cool. I love me some Tapu Lele. Um, how physical is he? He's decently physical, uh, so I might lead the Incineroar. He has no terrain to really counteract that. I don't want to lead the Yvelta as well. Yvelta's special attacking, right? Yeah, yeah. Rock is strong and all that. Yes, sir. Also got Oblivion, which is amazing. Oh, he has, uh, some physical moves. He's like half and half. Hey, yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know. He's like half and half, but the, the physical moves are more so, like, that do different. I'm gonna go these two to get started. I don't think we need a Trick Room at all. Uh, Vinny, yeah, come on down. Gotta watch out for that steel typing. And then I think we should go Metagross. Like in this team. Been liking it a lot. Let's go. Let's go. We got two seconds, but we're fine. We're fine. We click those teams just in time. Just in time. We just do dandy here. We do just dandy here. Alright, who's he gonna lead? He has that Zolt, which I'm kinda scared of. The Sun Goal too, because I don't really know what it does. Oh, that's another Pokemon that I need. I have a Sun Goal team. I need Necro Necrozma, and I need a Lunala. Lunala team. I have a Ho-Oh team and Lugia team coming up very, very soon. Also, I have Polk and Dialga coming soon as well, which is dope. But he is going to go with Lele and Titar, which I'm totally fine with. We get a nice little Intimidate off on this thing. Um, he's going to set the Psychic Surge, which is totally fine. So I cannot fake out, but I am going to Parting Shot. But I don't mind setting a Parting Shot. That little Dark Roar going out here, radiating the darkness. Get that Intimidate, which I like a lot. He does have Alice, Switch. got to watch out for that. Uh, I think I just parting shot onto Tyranitar and roll from there. Sandstream coming out. Hey, yo, chill on me. No Sandstreams here. No Sandstreams here. Uh, I parting. I think I part. I think I say see you later. Could Dynamax. Could go for a Foul Play. Foul Play is pretty good. Higher targets attack stats, greater damage it deals. We go for an Oblivion Wing. Just get some HP back. Because he might drop a rock on me. I think I might just do that over onto the top of the Lele slot. Because he might swap out the Titar. I actually, oh, he swaps a Lele. What are you going to go into from the Lele? I'm going to go into Draco's Zone. So I'm actually glad I'm able to get some damage off on that thing. And, oh, he's Dynamaxing you? Oh, just drop a rock on me, right? Just a drop a rock on me. Hopefully we can get off this parting shot beforehand. And, uh... We should be chilling. I think we should be chilling. If we get off this parting shot, I think you're about to up pretty fine here. Hmm. I didn't think he was going to Dynamax. Not at all. Oblivion Wing comes out. Yeah, yo, I love this move. I love how it gives back HP as well. Very nice. Not very effective, but still get some damage off there. Fire Shot comes out. Aye. It will swap him. And I might come back into another Intimidate. Because I don't feel like dealing with him. So he's obviously dropping the Rock. I might switch the terrain. So obviously dropping the Rock. And I'm going to go into you. Just to get that terrain up here. Get terrain boosting. And I might, if you're about to eat, I'm going to swap into what's called next turn. Incineroar again. Because he has two physical attackers out here. I'd rather get Incineroar back out here. And then I can pick out because I changed the terrain from Psychic to Misty. And he's going to go for that Rock Fall. Kind of saw that coming. Or are you going into the top of slot? He's going to go in the top of slot, which is totally fine by me. Which is totally fine by me. I'm going to swap the Yvelts. I'm going to swap the boy. I am going to go into a Moonblast. Take you out because you're posing the bigger threat because Tyranitar is going to be minus three here. 
and then get my boy Incineroar right back out of here. So we're playing a swap game. We're playing a good battle here. I've been playing so much better. I feel like every single day I play this game, I get better and better. Like, if you guys check out my older videos, like, jeez, man. I, I, oh, I don't even like talking about them anymore. But how much better we got in, in this game, it's, it's awesome. It's good. It's good. So dope. And a lot of it is because of you guys. Like, if you guys' comments give me tips and stuff, like, I don't take them personally unless you guys, like, make it sound personally. <laughs> He's gonna go for a bull beak. We're gonna be able to eat. A nice little swap there. Uh, Moonblast is gonna be able to take you out. Your minus three. I might just parting shot once again. I could totally do that. Actually, I'm gonna stay in and fake out. I know he's weakness policy, so I'm not. I'm not trying to proc it. I'm not trying to proc it just yet. There goes another rock fall. Uh, will Incineroar be able to eat this up? Oh, it's done. Turn off your console, my dude. Turn it off. We just out swap this dude. Dominated that third battle, and we go 3 and 0. Grab ourselves that perfect record with this E Belted team. That was amazing. That was amazing. Now, we would have took out my Incineroar, but we had that thing minus 3. We were buzzing. We were buzzing really good, and we had our Dynamax. No problem whatsoever. Easy wins with this squad. I'm telling you, rent this team. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how it's done. 3-0 with this insane Yavelta team. I'm glad I got to show off this team to its fullest potential. The first battle, we dominated by Dy Dynamax into Yavelta. Second battle, we were able to uh, go into Tapu Fini, Dynamax that, and show off the Assault Vest bulkiness of this Yavelta. And then the third and final battle, we just outplayed our third opponent. We really did. We went in with the swaps. We were able to get Intimidate on that Tyranitar, making it minus three. We took out his Draco Assault with the Tapu Fini and made that guy just turn off his console and never play play Pokemon again. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously guys, you should rent this team. Rent the code is at the bottom of the screen. I promise you guys will get some easy wins. And it's pretty meta heavy, so you guys can go up against basically any team on the meta. But you guys rock out. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.